So I have a video previously talking about my dedicated love to the How to Train Your Dragon series. I've seen every movie, I've watched every episode of the series from when it was on Cartoon Network to when it went to Netflix. I watched through every season. I've watched the special, everything, right up until they released Rescue Riders, which to this day, I will still say that Rescue Riders was a missed opportunity to have a story that centered around Hiccup and Astrid's children. That would have been perfect. But no, they decided to go in a completely different direction, and it just was a series that just didn't vibe with me. Not saying it's bad. No, not by any means. It was actually pretty fun. It just wasn't for me. But here, they've done something I wasn't expecting. And it feels like this came far too quickly. Like, I feel like I only just heard about it a few months ago for the first time. And then boom, it's here. And of all things, it's on Hulu. Like, what happened to Netflix? Oh, well. Uh, maybe there's something about DreamWorks and the direction that they're going that doesn't line up with things going on to Netflix anymore. I, I have to assume that's the case. But, you know, from Hiccup being a scared boy, scared of dragons, too frail to fight, to a uh, almost battle-hardened warrior, to being uh, the leader of his own village and all that, being the village chief, and all the stuff we've seen in between with the series, I have a lot of love for this series, and I'm scared to watch this. You know, I didn't watch it when it initially came out, because I just, I, I just couldn't bring myself to do it, but now here I am, finally watching it, finally doing it, and I'm still nervous to just get it started, because it's like, what if it sucks? What if it's not good? I would hate that. I would hate that so much. But you know what? I gave Rescue Riders first episode a chance. I'll give this a chance too. <sighs> I just wish they at least... I, I don't know. I should have looked up if they even brought back the old team from the DreamWorks Dragon series. I'll probably look that up later, but we're in the far future. Let's see what Dragons Beyond looks like. <sighs> Let's do it. <sighs> Hulu. Oh. Yeah, the kin of, um, oh. Okay. Yeah. Dragons terrorizing people. Yeah. Your favorites were the stories of dragons terrorizing people. Main character, we are not off to a great start. Mm. Oh, man. Recounting those classic moments. Oh, yeah, with the uh, leader of all those dragons. That was the end of the first movie. A story that really happened. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I guess to a certain degree, we're kind of starting things off how the previous series started. Because Hiccup started off telling the tale of when he was a young boy and back then there were dragons. So it's just... The thing about the movies is like everything came full circle. Man, by the time you got to Homecoming, it was just, yes, it was done. This one, okay. Because this story is mine. Alright, a brand new story. We know that dragons were hidden off in the hidden world and all of that. The Nine Realms, right. I wonder what that all means. <laughs> of course, wouldn't be dragons without the sheep. Huh. 3D animation is pretty decent. Oof. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know if I'm digging the main character's design, but this does have a How to Train Your Dragons feel. Whoa. Okay, deeper than the Mario's Trench. Okay, this kid's a little bit more adventurous than Hiccup, but then again, kid from more current day. Project Icarus. Icarus one, come around back one. We're just cargo drop and getting tall out of here. Hmm. Okay. So they're excavating. I take it. He's got a little, uh, Viking 
Thor hammer on his jacket. Uh, just like a white kid. <laughs> I know so many guys who embrace their Norse heritage. Oh, who is this? He jumped into a polar bear habitat. Uh, he is definitely nothing like Hiccup. Uh, it's so weird to see how to train your dragon characters in more modern day costumes. Oh jeez, this place is a safety hazard. I'm stealing your mother. Here's my daughter. She'll be your love interest for the duration of this series. <laughs> it's just like, you gotta love parents who are just like, you remember so and so, right? From back when you were six years old and still barely having any memories? Just like, uh... Oh, tarot cards. Ah, she's one of those. Oh, she's got a J necklace. Oof. <laughs> Her mom's got bite. Mom, what about <laughs> Mom, what about checking out the fish here like you promised? Eh. Boss has got work. Okay, so. Oh, they're 14 now. Dang. <laughs> I would not remember anybody. Oh, no, that's a lie. I remember a few people, but very sparsely. So, oh, that is a big man. Right. Other boss, students. I... Ah, token black kid. Oh. <laughs> Okay, gotta have your quiet one. Okay, so we have our Hiccup, but not Hiccup. Our Astrid, but not Astrid. A Snot Loud, but not Snot Loud. And I guess this one would be the Fish Leg. Okay, so we have officially eliminated any kind of Rough Nut or Tough Nut activity as far as I have seen. Right. They, they don't know what that means. Yeah, these kids did not come from a military background like your son did. Okay, D'Angelo Baker. Hoon Wong. Nerd. I'm here to <laughs> Phil. Tom Colors. Oh, wow. Might be a little bit more connected to his heritage than I thought. Colorson. Alex. Oh, Gonzalez. Alex Gonzalez. She, does he have binary on her little bad thing? God, nerd. Sorry, oh, what's that look about? Okay, Kid's got a good heart. I like him. A comet tore open the fish? Oh, Jesus. Okay, that would explain why they're looking into it. That is a massive geological disruption. Okay. He was five, okay? He, he's kind of on his mom for <laughs> taking her eye off of him. Uh, you do not trust five-year-olds. Period. They will get into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> like, kids, quiet down, except for you. You, just stay at the level you're at. Okay, so I have to assume that all of these kids are children of the various different levels of research and stuff like that. So I'm wondering who the one girl's parent is. You know, I guess, you know, one chick is, uh, her parent is the financier. Colerson, his mom is the one who is the investigative researcher. My homeboy over here, his dad is obviously like chief of security and all that good stuff. So what, what's the quiet girl's deal? <laughs> State of the art. You're not allowed in here. It's just so you have your bearings. Blue floor Ooh, that got her perked up. High tech. What's on the red Hank, Explorer class drone yes. fleet. <laughs> Everything in this place is state of the art, apparently. Children, mm, children are not allowed anywhere. Oh, whoa, what is this? Visitor center. Wait, they're going to school here? Okay. Ah, okay, I get what this is all about because I guess because so many of the researchers are going to be on this project for a good long time and enough of them have kids, they were just like, oh, well, might as well start up a school here. I wonder who their teacher is. He wouldn't. Oh my god, he did. Oh boy. Oh. Drones. Oh, jeez, kid. Why would you just jump down there? Oh, the repair drones. Okay, that is definitely a night fury. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, whoa. Uh, 
Oh man, that's uh, not good. Oof. Right, do or die situation, kid. He at least tied it on to something. Not like this. I'm too young. It's just like, ah, oh, man. <laughs> Have a cat. Oh god. Wait, you didn't tie the rope onto anything else? Oh, kids got that gains. Yeah, nah. He should have tied it onto something. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Oh, nice. Oof. <laughs> yeah, I do not blame this woman for being really out of it. It's just like, you know, no, I would not be okay. It's just like, I am taking leave. I am going home for a good while, right? See, I'm glad they're just like, hey, this this kid saved her life. Like, that that's the one they point out first. Okay, I like that. Uh, yeah, and then here comes the whole situation of, you weren't supposed to be down here whatsoever. You still saved someone's life, though. Don't, don't, don't y'all forget that. He, the kid is a hero. Oh, come on, he saved someone's life. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, come on, guys. He's, he, if he wasn't here, you would have had a massive write-up on your hands. There we go. Man, leave it to the big man to give the kids some props. It's just like, that was stupid, but insanely brave. Fish Dana. <laughs> I like this guy. He's just like, I'm glad I'm not you right now. I really don't the want her to screams. chew him out too much. The fish get yeah, okay. I, I can understand that. She's a parent, and he was in a very life-or-death situation. I get that. You make it sound like it was his fault that you had a massive earthquake and one of your employees almost died. Okay. Oh, Viking helmet. Vi we don't hear grave then Safety orientation videos. Ugh. Or <laughs> now she wants never this umbrella is <laughs> Oh, this is cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're cute. Okay, now she's finally listening to him. Damn it, no! He's trying to tell you something, Jesus! <laughs> Stay out of trouble. These domes are kind of like huts. They have pay-per-view. Oh, there's no satellite or internet TV. Yeah, bail. Bail. Do you not have like a laptop or a phone? Oh, maybe he doesn't get signal out here. Oh, double suck. Well, that is true. I love a kid who knows how to work a loophole. I don't know if that thing will have enough battery life to be out there for too long, but... Oh god. I guess the same way you got up there. That is a round surface and you guys managed to climb that. <laughs> <laughs> this kid can't catch a break, and it's just like, Jesus Christ, I saved a life, come on. So, Seriously, people, he saved a life. I know I keep harping on that, but it's just like, come on, that would be the thing that makes the news. Then again, they probably don't want word of unsafe work conditions getting out there, considering the way that they're being about this whole situation. <sighs> The political industry game is a pain in the ass. Yeah. Ah, she's into tarot readings and all that. Yes. No. Yeah, okay. Hey, you, you got that drone circling around the two of you way too much. Send it to the Fisher already, kid. Uh, it's not a it is a toy. Yeah, seriously. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, don't hit the windmill. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and she broke it. Oh, jeez. Sheared the sheep. The history of sheeps being mistreated in this region live on to this very day. He has a chart? Oh, her his, his star chart. He was reading it. Got it. Oh, something big happens. Life change. Oh, okay. Going into the whole destiny aspect. Okay, I can get behind that. Oddly enough, they didn't really do too much of that in the original series.
Okay, he's going in from the uh, one place he actually can be. I guess he was just testing it out before. Wouldn't it be easier to observe things during the day, though? Then again, workers would be present. Oh, got some night fairy activity going on. Oh, jeez. Oh, I hope that was a cheap one. Oh, kid, no. No, you're gonna get in so much trouble. It is definitely a bad idea. Oh, jeez. Then again, they did establish that he has a tendency to leap before he looks. That whole drone fit inside your pack? What? Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, you should be nowhere near here. But how was it flying around previously? Or did it get trapped when the earthquake happened? Ah, that's how they'd establish the connection. Oh, I love that it disrupts electrical activity. Oh, its tail is caught. You are... You shouldn't be strong enough to move that. Ah, budget a little, maybe. Okay. Oh, jeez. You're lucky you didn't get hit in the head by any of that debris. Oh, and he's going into the flava. Okay, uh, how are you gonna get back up? Oh. <laughs> Shining in its face. Uh, circling you like a predator, but not far enough. Oh boy. And thus he was mauled to death. End of series. I mean, these things aren't really trained to be around humans like the other ones. I'm kind of digging it. I was only going to watch the first episode, but it's a two-parter. So I guess I'll go straight to the second episode. I won't lie, I am fascinated. Yeah, I'm going into the second episode. Fuck you, Hulu! You got me to watch the second episode. Just because you've only shown me so much in the first one, so... Oh! Oh! Well... Is this the intro? Oh, Invisible Dragon! Nice! <laughs> okay! I am kinda gelling with it. Right. Keeping their tendency to be like cats. That's good. What is this? Scratch, 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 scratch. I actually kind of dig in that. Oh, it left? Man, this kid has must have some mad upper body strength. Oh, God. Jeez. How many times do you have to fall into a fissure? Oh. Well, that's kind of sweet. Like, I've got you a s fleshy, non-flying thing. Very loud, fleshy, uh, not-flying thing. Oh, the caverns. Brought you back to my den so I can eat ya. Nom 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 nom. See, the light does nothing. The light does nothing. I keep, I keep expecting them to do the whole hand thing. Maybe that would be a little too gratuitous. Okay, what is this creature smelling? What you got in your pack, kid? <laughs> Slapped him in the face. Hey, what you got in there? It, it's just water? How is it smelling water? I hope you don't have your flash on. Oh. Well, an actual responsible decision. I was like, I don't know if they should know about you. Hey. Yeah, you must have something else in your pack that this thing is smelling. Hasn't gotten a name yet, so... 
What is it eating? Oh, chips! Ugh, yeah. I don't think that would interact too well with his theology. But <laughs> mm, it's acting like a child who knows it shouldn't be uh, going certain places. Grabbed him by his foot again. Whoa. An EMP blast. Oh, wait. Lady, you're still on duty after you almost died? Uh, that would be the perfect way to make it so that he's... The creature is never seen by any kind of photography. That's actually smart. Oh god, I hope he doesn't get spotted. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Uh, I can kind of get behind the mom on this one. If you fall, I don't. An emotional plea. That's 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 a hard one. Highly restrictive. Well, I guess there really aren't any options of where to send them. Do you guys not have like, like any relatives you can send him to live with? Oh, she doesn't like being so harsh. But I understand where she's coming from. Oh, the water bottle. This is like, you promised me food! Hmm. Tom, up the first <laughs> oh god. And apparently oh, he stayed there all night. I can't blame him for that, but... Color? Not uh, he's a warrior. Uh, I mean, I think it's more that he's just a little bit more practical. Ah, this kid's a narc. <laughs> Give him points for trying. Hmm, um, flashbacks to Kid Ugly. Dragons. dragons aren't real. It's just like, kid, after what you saw, I'd, I'd start believing a lot of things. They had drag I mean, dragon stories are mostly stories about dinosaurs, but. Eh. Wow. <laughs> First words we hear out of her mouth are probably the realest words any fictional character has ever said. It's just like, if dragons were real, we'd probably just exploit them for profit. And I'm just like, I mean, you're not wrong. I, I, I can't argue with that. It's just like, if we weren't trying to eat them, we'd be making them into something. We would have hunted them to the brink of extinction, if not to extinction by this point. It's just like, yeah, there's no way dragons would be real without us knowing about it. It's just like, yeah, no. And then again, there are several creatures that we still continue to discover to this day, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you know what? Maybe you shouldn't talk anymore. I love the fact that she's already in on it. It's just like, wait, you actually saw a dragon? Show me, 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 show me. You gotta love how this kid is immediately like, it's not a dragon. It's just like, dude, it flew you. Well, it didn't fly on him. It picked him up and flew him around, which, I mean, man, that's, that's dragon. It's not a cloud. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he just ran off. Okay. Eat it, pizza. Hey, hey, mom's Ray, Ray Corp. A billion dollars! Jesus. I mean, yeah, dude. People don't make things like where you're at without wanting something profitable back from it. I, I appreciate that he keeps trying to tell his mom about this thing. Mm. Okay. Aren't you not supposed to be... Oh, God. We need to put a bell on that thing. Tuscaloosa. Oh. Right, yeah. Okay, but the fissure opened up and shifted everything. Oh god, she's one of those. Oh, how did you gain access to that? <laughs> Someone hacked them off the server. Oh no. Ooh, she's devious. I like her. Is he gonna get followed? Yeah, he's totally gonna get followed. Question is, uh oh. Oh jeez. Uh, more patrols. That's gonna make things difficult. Gotcha. Uh, that sheep was not gonna stop until he got his piece. Oh, jeez. Are they setting up uh, electromagnetic sensors and stuff? So how did they manage to map out the enti entire cave system and never run into the friggin' dragon? Oh. Give me fool, give me fool. Take your pick. Oh. Not the pizza. What? Like spaghetti? Wait, you like spaghetti but not pizza? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, that's a bummer. Steak? <laughs> slap! Slap! Pickles! Slap! Slap! <laughs> 
fish. Yep, there you go. I like frozen fish nuggets. Depends on what brand they are, but I mean, frozen fish, you know, when you eat it up, it gets pretty good sometimes. <laughs> you will accept this offering. You will. No, eat it in front of me. <laughs> There's so much hope in this little dragon's eyes. If only it was at least warmed up. Swallow it. <laughs> uh, that's too, uh, too many nugs. Uh, too many nugs. <laughs> uh, it's even worse because he ate them off the ground, too. And now we sleep in a food coma. What's going on here? Pet the dragon? Is this gonna end poorly? Is he gonna bite your hand off? Do the thing! Do the thing! <laughs> oh. Ah, they fixed his hair! Oh. That's... Snap. I've actually been endeared to this series. Flies him into the lava. It's like, oh wait, humans can't survive lava? See, that water must be boiling. Oh, man. It's not the first flight between Hiccup and Toothless, but... You know what? It was still kind of a magical moment. Oh, jeez! Kid, you have fallen at least, like, three to four times within the past two episodes. Ah, oh, caught him on his back. Nice. Ooh. Light kind of like the flashlight. <laughs> Love how excited he is. Huh. What's back there? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. It's the entire hidden world. Huh. Wild. Oh, wait, that's the end? <sighs> Damn. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna watch all of them. I'm gonna watch the entire series. <sighs> Man, this was actually kind of fun. Dang. I didn't actually think I'd enjoy this, but you know what I kind of do? I actually kind of enjoy this. Shoot. Okay, yeah, you got me again. I am fascinated to see where all of this goes, how this develops, if we'll see any new dragons. I need to see if they got any of the previous staff on this as well. Uh, there's so much you could do with a series set in modern day, too. I didn't think this would be a good direction, but you know what? You actually managed to sell me on it. Then again, riding dragons is a time-old tradition. You know, set one series far enough in the past where dragons would exist, and another series far enough in the future where dragons would exist. You know, the kids know Hiccup, but a bond between boy and his dragon is one that will never grow old. Yeah, I'm actually kind of digging on it. You know, this is actually, it's really actually growing on me already. I didn't think it would. So I'm curious to hear from you. Like, have you watched these episodes? Have you had fun with them? Are you digging on it? Do you think the characters have become appealing? I was afraid, but you know what? I actually am just kind of vibing with this. Dang. Had to be some people from the previous series who worked on this. I'm gonna look into that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, bell. Or don't. I ain't your daddy, but I still love you like one. And until next time, I've been Deez Deez Din. And I hope it won't be long before we take flight yet again with another Dragons series. Let's explore the Nine Realms together.